RBS Business Research Academy welcomes to you in another video. Uh, dear friends, in this video, I'm going to discuss about the taxonomy of research gap, identifying and defining seven research gap. This is a very important research paper in which I have discussed about the uh, what are the seven general or common research gaps. Dear friends, I always try to bring uh, some of the relevant tools and techniques for you guys. So in this is also the another uh, the type of the video which is providing you in the tool to identify the gap. So there are basically seven gap have been identified in this research paper. So now uh, how much this research paper is popular? It's clear from the research gate. So, so far uh, about the 60,000 times this paper has been downloaded by the, by the researcher. So from the the amount of the downloading, you know, you can understand how much this pop, this uh, research paper is popular. Dear friends, uh, you are looking here. There are these are the seven gaps are there which have been identified in this research paper. So normally we are working on these research gaps, but we do not know actually that which type of the research gap I am going to fill out. So basically, why we are conducting the research? So we are going to we are conducting the research to fill out the one gap. Whenever we find any gap, we try to fill it. If there is no need gap, then there is no need to conduct the research over there. So always, but it is also uh, true that the, we cannot fully uh, uh, fill out the gap, but at, up to some level, up to some extent, we can fill out the gap and some of the things we cannot uh, cover in this one. So that's why in the session section, future guideline, we are identifying all the gaps which are there, which, which have not been uh, filled by you because of certain limitations, because of the time, shortage of the time, because shortage of the financial resources. So these are the two major limitations which have been identified by the researchers. So that's why we cannot fill the gap completely. And so, okay, so let us start to uh, to read this paper, to understand this paper. So before this one, my name is Dr. Rahim Sumro, and I'm from Shabati University, Pakistan. So, okay, so one of the most prevailing issue in the craft of research is to develop the research agenda and the build the research on the development of the research gap. So that's definitely, uh, whenever we want to perform any, uh, any research, there definitely we have some of the agenda of this research paper. And uh, now this research, this agenda mainly depends on the research gap. So the research gap, which we are trying to fill out, then we do not train researchers on how to systematically identify research gap as a basis for investigation. So normally it happens that we say in our uh, the university say we do not inform our researchers that how to identify the gap and what type of the research gaps are there. Now this is not my one, but this is according to the uh, the uh, the author of this research paper. The author of this research paper is Anthony Miles, who is telling about this one data mostly. We do not teach our students. Okay. Now another great thing is that the common problem with the noise researcher is to identify the gap. And with little theory, our research has been developed in identifying the research gap is a basis for the uh, line in inquiry. So with research, that means uh, like the uh, theory research, uh, that means very little theory and research are available uh, through which you can identify the research gap. So now the purpose of this research is the threefold. The first one is that the, the purpose the proposed theoretical framework builds on the five-point theoretical model, Robinson and the and his other associates on the research gap. Second, that this research study builds on the six-point theoretical model of the Muller and Block uh, on the research gap. Basically, this is this is uh, a research paper. It's, it's an amalgamation or the mixture of the two. One one is the from the Robinson and another is from the Muller and Block. So whatever the model research gap they have provided, so this one is a mixture of these two ones. As it is written here, lastly, the purpose of this research paper is to develop and propose theoretical model. This, that is the amalgamation of the two preceding models and reconceptualize the research gap concept in their characteristics. Okay, so now it's clear from this statement that the, the previous three, uh, two models which have identified or provided here. So the third one is amalgamation or mixture of these two ones. This research proposed a seven point theoretical model. The significance of this research is four is a twofold. The first one that this research provides a theoretical significance by developing a theoretical model on the research gap. And the second one that this research attempts to build a solid taxonomy on the different characteristics of the research gap and establish the foundation. So these are the two, uh, like the significance of this research article. Uh, and then the research gap seems to be in the eyes of the beholder. It is true, always it is true that the 
the cityscape basically is is in the eyes of the in the thinking of the researcher. So how the research is is identifying and how the researcher is looking at the gap from that point of view, it is identifying the gap. So at the same way, the, the people are saying that beauty lies in the eyes of the beholder. It's the same research game lies in the eyes of the beholder. Okay, so now another thing, the seven type of the research games. According to the Robbins and the Salenda, there are the five research games. One first one is a uh, that is our population and then intervention and then comparison and the outcome and last but not the least that is about the setting. So these are the five research gap identified by the Robbins and, and Slender. Okay, and another uh, is about the Miller and Block what identified. They have also identified the contradictory evidence gap, knowledge wide gap, action wide knowledge wide gap, methodological gap and the uh, evolution wide gap and last one is the theoretical theory application gap. So these are the uh, other gap which have been identified by the Miller and Block. And now when we combine this one, that means when the Miles, the author of the circle has combined these two one, now we have the seven, uh, that means research gap, evidence gap, knowledge gap, uh, practical uh, gap or conflict gap, and then methodological gap, empirical gap, theoretical gap, and the population gap. So these are seven uh, gaps uh, which have been identified by the Miles uh by uh, going through the two remaining uh, previously defined or uh, previously uh, presented uh, research or gap models so here you're looking these seven gaps are there which have been identified in this one okay then we are coming back down so our first gap is evidence gap this talks about the this gap involves contradiction in the finding of the prior research whatever the contradiction which i find out in the prior research so now this is the evidence gap it it occurs it occurs if results from the studies allow for the conclusion in the right in their own right, but contradictory when examined from the more abstract point of view. When you are going to uh, like the examine them like the more abstractly, then you are finding some of the contradiction are there. So when evidence contradiction is there, there is an evidence gap. So now by uh, means, uh, uh, now this is your gap. So now you can fill out the gap by performing or by conducting some of the research in this one. Then knowledge gap. Knowledge gap is basically two type. The knowledge gap may exist in the actual field, in one field, to the theories and literature from the research related domains. In the second one, it might be the case the result from of the study differ from what was expected. So these two sources are of the, the knowledge gap. And this is a practical research knowledge gap. This kind of the gap tends to be the discrepancy that can motivate the new research in this direction. Okay, so discrepancy, it is a discrepancy in the practical knowledge that again there is a gap and this, this gap may be filled by the any researcher. Metallurgical gap is a gap that is type of the gap that deals with the conflict and it occurs due to the influence of the methodology on the research. So sometimes we are following a one methodology to perform a, a one research. So now sometimes you may, if you may find any of the gap in the research methodology, then again it is a one type of chance to fill out the gap by writing a one research paper. And then another empirical gap, an empirical gap is a type of the gap that deals with the gaps in with the prior research. In the prior research, if there are any gap are the empirical gaps are there, then again, uh, like that, you can also perform, uh, like, you can, uh, like that, you can also perform some of the research to fill out the empirical gap. Empirical gap often addresses the conflict that no study has to date uh, been directly attended to evaluate the subject or topic from an empirical approach. So sometimes we are claiming, so like this, uh, and uh, so now it's very difficult to claim like this one that uh, no study. So now we, we may write down here that the, according to the best knowledge of the researcher, no study is there because uh, sometimes we do not know, but studies are available, research papers are available on that, on any topic. So I believe that means that there is no any topic on which the people have not attempted it or people have not write or any conducted any research on any there's no any field which is existing on every type of the field there's so much literature is available but it is our mistake that we are unable to find out that uh, we have we are unable to reach out that research papers are uh, these theoretical theories are over there theoretical gap the theoretical gap is a type of the gap that deals with the gaps in the theory of the prior research 
theoretical gifts are common occurrence in the explaining the research on the phenomena. So the theoretical gifts are there. Population gap is there. The population gap is a common uh, recognized among the researchers. There are always underserved population that have been under researched. So okay, underserved uh, population is there like the any like the gender of male or female, any type of the race, ethnicity, any age, any uh, ethnic or any other thing, the MISA which has not been properly given the attention by the researcher, any type, any particular class of the uh, population. If it's not been uh, researched by the people, then again, it's a population gap. Okay, and then uh, here is a writing a research gap. So now how to write a research gap when you are finding you're working on the evidence gap. So some of the uh, tools are there, like the researcher identify the research evidence gap in the prior research concerning the previous research has addressed several aspects of the, now here you can write down the, that phenomena, that, Aspect on which you are working, and uh, the site uh, two to three relevant articles. You can provide the citation of two to three uh, 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 relevant articles over there. Okay, and this way you can identify uh, the your uh, this type of the like the evidence gap. And another is about the knowledge gap. Knowledge gap is like the researcher is apparent. Is an apparent knowledge gap in the prior research in addition like you can write down the uh, any uh, major phenomena any topic on which you are working in addition the prior research did not address the subject of for example for whatever you're writing like the motivation of employees like the uh, compensation and packaging or any other thing you can write down here that's about the knowledge gap practical knowledge gap there is also the appear uh, there appears to be the practical knowledge gap in the prior research. There's a lack of the rigorous research in the uh, prior literature. Some of these are unexplored. You can write down the, these unexplored uh, type of the things which are there. So now this is the, how you can write down that these type of the practical gaps which are there in your research paper. Metrological gap, the research identifies the metrological gap in the prior research. There's a lack of the research design based on the research we are trying to implement is research design as we find. So now another way to how we can write down the metrological gap. Empirical gap, how to write down in your research paper. Again, these are some of the, there appear to be the empirical gap and there is also like of the rigorous research in the prior uh, literature. And some of the, the unexplored, like this one, this is the way to write down uh, the Mr. whenever you're finding any research gap in your paper. If we go down, the same thing is there about the theoretical gap and then same thing is about the uh, population gap. So now this table provides you how you can uh, start to write on the MISA, whatever the gap which you are trying to fill, which you are trying to identify from the uh, previous literature. So this is a way according to the miles. Okay, and then same, the same thing is in another uh, format are uh, given to you. Okay, so at the end, now this paper is ended over is about the 10 pages paper. Although the, it's a 10 pages paper, but it's I think it's a wonderful paper. And because some of the important uh, gaps, like the seven gaps of the research have been uh, identified in this research paper. At the end of this video, I'm really thankful to you that you have watched uh, this video completely. And very soon we will meet another video. Till that time, bye-bye.